okay? So you could have a nerve going to your heart, you would not know that, that it's functioning at 40%. How good is your heart gonna function? Even if you're a runner, even if you eat really well, even if you're not taking medication, even if you don't have surgery, even if you have a, a good paying job, not too much stress at home, things are kind of going the way you'd like it to go, you rest pretty good at night, all these things that you would think of as the perfect picture of health, but yet you're not getting the right transmission to your heart. What do you think is going to happen to that person? Do you think they're going to be healthy and live a long, healthy life? I can tell you right now, no way. And that's the one you read in the paper where they say, it was a medical mystery. He even went to see his doctor you know, two weeks ago and there he got a clean bill of health. And he was tying his shoes in the morning to do his six mile run, which he does three or four times a week. And he dropped dead of a heart attack at 45. That's how that happens, okay? A lot of times what happens is that's the first sign of heart disease for many people, is the heart attack. And if they don't make it, that's the only sign they got. Okay? Now those people, if they could be back here today, I tell you, they would, they would definitely wish they knew something like this. Okay? So these are the kind of things we explain. It is very much a serious thing when I speak about this. And I don't mean to go overboard on it with you, but, but it really is, when it comes down to it, life or death. What did Max say? You called it save your life? I mean, I didn't tell him to say that. He said that himself. That's actually relating to this. Maybe I should have named it that, but but you know, it really comes down to that. <clears throat> Abnormal cellular function. See the word dis-ease. That's different than disease. When the body is at ease, it is functioning properly.